If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. Ron, look! Harry. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? Beds but, but... empty, no note, car gone. Oh, Mom, I crashed out of my mind with worry. Did you care? Never. As long as I've lived. But Mom, now get outside and start denoming. I've had it up to here with all of you, except you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. You ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not sure, Ron. I've been with Dursley so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. Flipendo! Once you learn some second year magic, you'll be able to ring the bell. Hmm, when I learn some second year magic, I should be able to get the shield to the top. I can only get the shield up a little way. Try casting Flipendo. That was truly smashing, Harry. Oh, oh, you know, Harry, you can cast Flipendo on a whole bunch of things lying around the burrow. And if you do, you might be surprised at what you find. Those beans will come in handy at Hogwarts. Maybe learning second year magic will help me get the shield to the top. More Berkey Bot's beans! More every flavour beans! I'll be using those beans. Come on, Harry! We're in here! <laughs> there are gnomes everywhere! Look! Ugh. They're up in the rafters! 
Okay, Harry, target the little pests and flipendo them off the rafter. Flipendo! That's got one! Flipendo! That was pretty good, Harry. You've got the little pests on the run. in the barnyard, Harry. No, things will come in handy at Hogwarts. Harry, we'd like you to meet our washing machine. Huh? Dad tried charming it. Now it's anything but charming. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Dueling? And keep moving round it in class for Pendle when the door is open. Don't be scared, Harry. It won't bite much. Cast Flip Pendo when its doors Flip open. Flip Junior's kitchen. You look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Right, let's go throw some gnomes. <laughs> My first wizard card. We need to get a move on with the de -noming. Mum will go mad if she finds any gnomes left in the garden. Look, there's one over there. What you have to do is flipendo them until they're dazed and confused. Wow, I've got to try this. Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. <laughs> and chuck them out of the garden. Nice one, Fred. That went miles. My record. Excellent. Flipendo. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Target! <laughs> Great! A wizard card for my collection! Do better than that, Harry. Target. <laughs> A wizard card. Great. It's late, boys. Time for bed. Big day tomorrow. Diagon Alley, then platform nine and three quarters. For someone who's never denomed before, you've done an excellent job, Harry. Almost as good as Gilderoy Lockhart himself. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Mrs. Weasley woke them all early the following Wednesday. She took a flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never travelled by flu powder before and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace, he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> Diagon Alley! It felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop and then... He fell. <laughs> this doesn't look like Diagon Alley. and Draco Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Borgin. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. The Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items that you are willing to sell. Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. 
Good day, Mr. Malfoy. I could use this to find my way out. New moths. It's very dark in here. I'd better watch out. Here you go. Brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig.
No way through there. only gone one fire place too far. I was frantic with worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. The flu powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplace as I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? That's so kind of you, Harry, but I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, grade two, from Flourish and Blots, and a new potion bar from Mole Peppers. Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blots then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the heart when you used the flu powder. A silver sickle. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blots. I'd like to buy that, please. The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 2, by Miranda Goshawk. Ah, that would be one sickle. <laughs> Thank you. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful. Don't overpower your spells or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Thanks very much. More 
bees. Wow, and every flavour bean. Did you get your book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Where did you lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Japes. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my spell tape. So I think that must be in the leaky cauldron. Hmm. Magical menagerie, Gamble and Japes and the leaky cauldron. Gossip. We really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to do this for Ginny. Yes, Harry. Thanks so much. Now go on, show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. The sickle! Excuse me, how much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. Brilliant. Thank you. You're very welcome to fill your potion vial with Wigan World Stamina Potion. The Wigan World's in the large cauldron, over there. Thanks very much. you for good, Potter. This is Gamble and Jokes, the Wizarding <laughs> Joke Shop. Four sickles for a pack of ten. <laughs> Go on, try the magical measure up. You'll need to cast a perfect flipendo spell at the point. Flipendo! Excellent, a perfect flipendo spell. Jim! 
Daddy's quill. <laughs> How much are our stink pellets? Full six. Some stink pellets! Hurry! Ouch! Ouch! Ouch. Oh. Ginny said her brass scales were in here somewhere. Let's head Didn't you hear me, boy? I say, we're closed now. Go away. I don't know. Kids today. If I'm careful. I should be able to creep past him. Who's there? I know you're here somewhere. I know you're here somewhere. I wonder if the noise of a spell might distract him. my things, Harry. It's so kind of you to do this for Jimmy. Have you looked everywhere in the leaky cauldron? The pendo! A silver sickle! Hello, Harry. I saw this is Weasley looking for you. Hope you're keep Ow. creeping round that Ow. 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 Stop it, stop it. Ow. Ouch.
Oh. Hello there, Harry. I found all your things, Ginny. Oh, Harry, you're so wonderful. No, really. It was nothing. You're such a kind boy, Harry. You really deserve a famous witches and wizards card. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Gilderoy Lockhart signing copies of his latest book in Flourish and Blots. We were thinking of going in to see him. Would you like to come with us, Harry? Oh, uh, well, okay then. Thanks. Let's go inside. Great Scott! Is that... It is. It's Harry Potter! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that this term, I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts <laughs> School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. Here, girl, take this one. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Let me give you some coaching, Harry. Fame is a fickle friend, and I would encourage you to be careful how you play the fame game, so to speak. Be sparing with your public appearances at first, and watch the company you keep. Harry! Why, Harry! I remember We've the time the when train. I was writing my Missed second the train. bestseller, Gadding yes. Cools. The Hogwarts Express I the left five minutes ago. I believe the more press, the better oh, my no. career would progress. What are we going well, to do? Trouble well, was I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It wasn't until I went mysteriously <gasps> missing for three weeks. Okay. Subsequently leaking it's the story only to the prophet that I've been captured by trolls in the wilds of Stocks and Tees that I managed to regain my former prominent position as the world's most popular wizard. Harry? Oh. I'll meet you in the courtyard outside the Leaky Cauldron. Ow! Ready to go to Hogwarts, Harry? Look, Harry! There's Hogwarts straight ahead!
money, Ron. Now, how on earth am I going to release you? Is there some kind of weak spot on the tree you can cast a spell at? Oh, it was nothing. Anyway, we'd better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. Come on, Harry, let's go! The only thing I'm not looking forward to this term is seeing Snape. Let's just hope he's left because he missed out on the defence against the Dark Arts job again. Or he might have been sacked. I mean, everyone hates him. Or maybe he's waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the Hogwarts Express. Professor Snape, we, uh, we were... In my search of the grounds, I noticed that considerable damage seems to have been done to a very valuable Whomping Willow. I will be speaking with Professor McGonagall later. That tree did more damage to us than we... Silence! I would advise you both to make your way immediately to the Gryffindor common room. But Professor Snape, we... Go, and count yourselves lucky. If I should catch either of you out after tonight, I will definitely deduct house points. Come on, Harry. I'll meet you outside the entrance hall. Brilliant. Get to your common room, Potter. Ow! Mr. Potter, you are testing my patience. Go to your common room immediately. Let's go in, Harry! Harry! 
Fine, stop it! You better do as Snape says. Why, if it isn't young Potter, how are you? Glad to be back at Hogwarts? Well, I would be, Nick, if Professor Snape hadn't caught me outside. Well, I suppose that rules are there for a reason, although sometimes the reason escapes me. Yes, you shouldn't be up this late, you know. Better get back to the Gryffindor common room before Professor Snape catches you again. Goodbye. Bye, Nick. Okay. Let's go to the seventh floor. I can't get into the common room, Harry. She wants the password. Of course I want the password. How am I to know that you two aren't Slytherins disguised as Gryffindors? Because we don't look like gorillas, that's how. There you are. Someone said you'd been expelled for crashing a flying car into the Whomping Willow. Well, we haven't been expelled. Look, just tell us the new password, Hermione. Oh, very well then. It's Wattlebird. Wattlebird. Hey Harry, Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Liberty Gibbet. Oh, and uh, watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. I'll meet you in the common room later. What was that? Flibbity gibbet. Ah, Potter! You finally made it then. Heard about the Ford Anglia. Mum's gonna kill Ron when she finds out. I bet it was worth it to see Snape's face when you landed. Um, sort of. Anyway, welcome to our shop, Harry. Yes, feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard wheezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates and the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts. Bertie bots every flavor of beans. We're sure there's something here you'll like. Is it Alahamora spellbook? 80 Bertie Bots, every flavour beans. How am 
much is his Edgar Stroger card? 30 Bertie box every flavour beans. Edgar Stroger, eh, Harry? Inventor of the sneaker scope. What a genius. How much is his stink pellet bag? 20 Bertie box. Now you can carry more stink pellets, Harry. Okay, Harry, it's been a long day. I'm really tired and I'm off to bed. Thanks ever so much for finding my file case, Harry. Have a wizard card. So, you and Ron actually flew here, Harry. I really don't think that was a good idea. Ron, do you know what class we've got first? I heard there's flying. You heard right. I'll meet you downstairs in the entrance hall. Haven't you got flying first? Oh, 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 oh.
Let's go outside. Adam Hooch will be waiting for you. Ouch! Ouch! We ought to go outside. Hello, Nick. What's the matter? Uh, a matter of no importance. It's just that Sir Properly Decapitated Podmore won't let me join the Headless Hunt. Apparently, they only accept huntsmen whose heads have completely parted company with their bodies. I'm sorry to hear that. Not to worry, young Potter. As I said, it's a matter of no importance. Killed in the crash. Oh, ow! Oh, ow! Ow! Harry! Ah! Ah! ah. Do you collect famous witches and wizards cards? I'll give you card number two. Cornelius Agrippa. For a number 59. Gregory the Smarmy. Okay, let's swap. Harry, I'll meet you outside the flying pit. Oh, ow, ow! Do you collect famous witches and wizards cards? I'll give you card number 78, or see no thrusting, for number 98, Dymphna Firmage. Here you are. Do you want to swap famous witches and wizards cards? I'll give you card number 23, Glenda Chittock, for number 27, Mirabella Plunkett. Okay, let's swap. Class, aren't you? Let's go in! Welcome to second year flying. Although you all apparently learned to fly last year, the apparently is directed at you, Mr. Longbottom. A refresher course is in order. Mr. Potter, would you please come over here so we can run through the basics? Please, will you fly up slowly? A good start. Now return to hover above the ground again. Good. At least you have broom control, however basic. Let's try something a little more difficult. I assume you can see the magical rings. Kindly fly through them all for me. Well done, Potter. I think you're ready to take this year's flying exam. 
You have approximately two and a half minutes to fly through as many rings as you can. Your course through the rings will get progressively more difficult and only the most expert flyers ever manage to complete it. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. A truly outstanding performance. You really are one of the most talented flyers I have ever seen, and you deserve the highest grade, a distinction. That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later. Brilliant. The house 
point totals are being calculated. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Gryffindor is in the lead. Deserve a wizard card. Harry, just the person I've been looking for. Something dreadful has happened to Neville. He's got himself trapped behind a tapestry. And I suppose you want me to get him out. Would you? That's so kind of you, Harry. He's out here. Neville? How did you end up back there? <coughs> he was looking for Trevor, his toad, and he went the wrong way. Now he's stuck. Well, can't you get him out, Hermione? No, I've tried everything. We need a severing charm. And where am I going to find one of those at this time of night? Herbology Greenhouse 3 in the grounds, except to get in you're going to have to find out how to pull up hawk clumps. If you go to the library there's an excellent book by Professor Lockhart, that'll tell you how to do it. Okay, so I've got to go into the library on the second floor and get a copy of Lockhart's book and then go out into the grounds and find my way into the Herbology Greenhouse to get the severing charm. Motor Mortis!
copy of Marauding with Monsters by Gilderoy Lockhart. I'm sure there's someone sneaking around here.
Mr. Potter, what on earth is... Oh, what's happened here? I don't know. I found him like this. Follow me, Potter. Professor, I swear I didn't. Harry was taken to Professor Dumbledore's office, where he came across the sorting hat. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house. Yes, well, you were particularly difficult to place. But I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. And he also discovered Forks, Professor Dumbledore's pet phoenix. Fascinating creatures, phoenixes. They can carry immensely heavy loads. Their tears have healing powers, and they make highly faithful pets. And of course, Professor Dumbledore himself. I know you're not the attacker, Harry, but I must ask you whether there is anything you'd like to tell me. Come. Come to me. Let me rip you. Let me tear you. Anything at all? No, there isn't anything, Professor. Very well, if you're sure. Good night, Harry. Night, Professor. Bird. Phew. Thanks, Harry. I thought I was never going to get out of there. Nice one, Harry. Well, all this excitement has worn me out. I think I'll head off to bed. But Hermione, nearly had this Nick has been attacked and I... Oh, I'll tell you in the morning. Liberty Gibbet. Where did he go? Harry, <laughs> Harry, Harry, stop it! 
How much is a pack of stink pellets? 20, 30 bucks. Non-explodable luminous balloons. What do they cost? 20 bucks. Non-explodable lu luminous balloons are great for distracting people. How much is this famous witches and wizards card? 30, 30 bucks. If I may say so, an excellent choice, Mr. Potter. And we've got first thing. It's defense against the dark arts, Harry, with Gilderoy Lockhart. I can't wait. Hmm, me neither. I'll meet you on the third floor outside the defense against the dark arts class.
carts waiting. Can everyone see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent. This term I shall be teaching dueling. Let me introduce you to my assistant, Professor Snape. Now, Harry Potter, if you'd like to come forward, the Expelliarmus spell challenge is through here. What you have to do is to find the Expelliarmus spell book somewhere beyond the portrait. Once you have the spell book in your possession, the Expelliarmus spell will be yours to use as you see fit.
no way through there.
Well done, Potter. 40 house points for Gryffindor. Now, I'd like you to use the Expelliarmus spell you've just acquired in a real duel. Mr. Malfoy, come over here. Let's see what you can make of the famous Potter. First duelist to gain five points wins the duel. Cross the line and you lose a point. Very well then. One's at the ready. When I count to three... Scared, Potter. You wish. One, two, three. Why didn't you tell us? I'm a what? A parcel mouth? You can talk to snakes! So? Does it matter? It matters, Harry. Because being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. That's why the symbol of Slytherin House is a serpent. Now the whole school's going to think you're his great, 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 great grandson or something. But I'm not. You'll find that hard to prove. He lived about a thousand years ago. For all we know, you could be. Anyway, we've got Quidditch practice next at the Quidditch Stadium. I'll meet you in the entrance hall, Harry. to the Quidditch Stadium.
go outside, Harry. Come on, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Oh, locked. And of course, Salazar Slytherin was a parcel mouth, which means that his heir should be too. I'd watch your back if I were you, Potter. Oh. Ah! 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 Oh! Ow! Harry! Ow! 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 Stop it! Ow! Stop it! Ow! I wouldn't let it slip to Potter that you were born non-magical. Stop! Or well, you might end up like the Stop Gryffindor me. house ghost. Ow! Ow! Harry! Ow! Let's go outside, Harry! I'm looking forward to this, aren't you? Let's go in! Oh. Ah, Potter. Ready to continue our winning streak from last year. I'm certain we're good enough, but we're definitely going to have to practice a lot harder. No time like the present, so let's have a run through of the basics. When you fly through a ring, it adds to your broom's magical charge and increases its speed. Likewise, missing a ring decreases the charge. Great going, Potter. Your broom's halfway charged. Your broom's now fully charged and you can boost. You can tell when you're ready to boost by the trail of sparks coming from your broom. Nasty pieces of work, as you remember from last year. You don't want to get hit by a bludgeon, boy.
close enough to the snitch now, but you always have to boost to get into a position to catch it. Oh! Great going, Potter. Now grab the snitch. Looks like you've improved on last year, Potter. With this lineup, Gryffindor are a dead cert for the Quidditch Cup again. That'll really get up Snape's nose. As Hufflepuff are in training as well, they've agreed to take part in a practice game with us. You'll have to compete against their seeker now, but I'm sure that'll be no problem for you, Potter. Incredible flying, Potter. Even Madam Hooch would have to give you a good grade. Don't let Professor McGonagall find out, but here, take this broom and get in as much practice as you can. Yeah! Hello there, Hermione. What's the matter? Malfoy showed up while you were practicing in the Quidditch Stadium. He's been made seeker after his dad brought his way onto the team with a whole set of Nimbus 2001s. Hermione said something about it and he called her a filthy mudblood. A what? A mudblood? It's a really disgusting name for someone who was born of non-magical parents. There are some wizards, like Malfoy's family, who think they're better than everyone else. Anyway, it's a horrible thing to say. If it hadn't been for Hagrid showing up, I'd have cursed him. He's not worth the trouble, Ron. Uh, I suppose you're right. Anyway, I'm tired and I'm off to bed. Let's go. Hello there, Harry. My mum sent me an owl with a parcel containing a new set of robes. Trouble is, the owl's dropped it somewhere in the grounds. Can you help me find it? Someone told me that they saw an owl drop something by the lake. If you find the parcel, it'd be great if you brought it back here to me. found my parcel. 
Thanks a lot, Harry. I think Neville could do with your help too. I saw him over by Hagrid's hut. I've forgotten where my remember all is. Can you help find it for me? If you find my remember all, can you bring it back here to me, please? I remember all. Thanks, Harry. I think there's someone over by the flying courtyard could do with your help too. there, Harry. I've lost my potion jar and Professor Snape will kill me if I don't find it. Can you help me? If you find the potion jar, can you bring it back here to me? Thanks a lot, Harry. I think that someone over by the Quidditch Gatehouse would like to give you a race. Hey there, Harry. Fancy racing me to the trees and back? Ah. 
ready? Three, two, one, go! Well done, Harry. You won the race. I think someone might be needing your help over in the cloisters. Hello Potter, I've lost my copy of the Daily Prophet and I was really looking forward to reading an article about the Quidditch World Cup. Can you help find it for me? If you find my copy of the Daily Prophet, can you bring it back here to me? Thanks, Harry. I think Neville could do with your help too. I saw him over by the flying lessons area. Harry, I was practicing my Wingardium Leviosa spell on some pieces of crockery, and now I can't get them down from the roof. Can you help get them back for me? If you manage to get all the pieces of crockery, can you bring them back here to me, please?
get all my crockery? Thanks very much, Harry. I think there's someone over by Hogwarts' main entrance could do with your help too. Hello there, Potter. I'm really desperate to collect three mandrake roots for Professor Sprout. Can you help me out? If you manage to collect three mandrake roots, can you bring them back here to me? Key to the confiscated item storeroom. You'll find it just off the flying courtyard on the other side of the bridge. are being calculated. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Gryffindor is in the lead. Thanks very much for finding the telescope, Harry. Have a wizard card. I think it might be a good idea to go to the library and find a copy of 
Hogwarts a history. Why do you want it? So we can find out about the legend of the Chamber of Secrets, of course. Of course. I suppose you want me to sneak out to the library again. Could you? Oh, thanks, Harry. The only thing is, you'll need to get into the restricted section this time. Go down to the second floor and into the library reading room. Sneak through there and you'll see a door with the golden arch. Go through this door and into the reading room annex. At the end of the annex, there's a portrait that will let you into the restricted section. The password is Bibliophile. Right. Second floor, reading room, through door with golden arch and into annex. Through portrait. Got it. Thanks, Harry. Uh, and watch out for the prefect. What was that? Flibbity gibbet. Balloon holster. What does this cost? Twenty thirty bots every flavor beans. With the balloon holster, you can carry loads more non-explodable luminous balloons. This Beatrix Bloxham card. How much is it? 30 bur- Beatrix Bloxham. If only we had her talent. Apparently, one of her readers was continuously sick for three whole weeks. I'm sure there's some my bibliophile.
tree. The history. Now all I need to do is get back to our mind.
doing in here? Looking for some fresh victims? Or is he running an errand for that mudblood green? Whatever it is, Crab, I think it's time to teach him a lesson.
Oh, locked. Wattle bird. Harry! I managed to get Hogwarts a history, but it wasn't easy. Slytherin. Crikey! Can I have a look at the book, Harry? Here you go. Here it is. I'll read the passage out. Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago by the four greatest witches and wizards of the age. Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw and Salazar Slytherin. For a while, the four founders worked in harmony together, seeking out youngsters with magical abilities and bringing them to the castle to be educated. But a rift began to grow between Slytherin and the others. Slytherin believed that magical learning should be restricted to all magic families and that no students of non-magical parentage should be admitted. Eventually, a serious argument on the subject caused Slytherin to leave the school. He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. According to the legend, Slytherin... 
Slytherin sealed this chamber of secrets so that no one would be able to open it until his own true heir arrived. The heir alone would be able to unseal the chamber, unleash the horror within, and use it to purge the school of all who were unworthy to study magic. Blimey! I always knew Salazar Slytherin was a twisted old loony, but I never knew he'd started all this pure blood mud blood stuff. It sounds to me like the horror within mentioned in the book is a monster. The kind of monster that can petrify a ghost. All this talk of monsters has given me the creeps. I'm off to bed. I don't believe you're the heir of Please, stop it! Not like Please. some people. Morning, Ron. It's Transfiguration first thing, isn't it? Yeah, first floor. I'll meet you there. Interesting happened last night. Ah! Oh, oh.
A giant bean bag. Now I can carry even more beans. Get out of here, Potter, before I leg lock you for the next 30 years. we shall learn the transfiguration spell known as Avifors. Avifors will allow you to transform small objects, such as the parts of this statue, into birds. This is achieved like so. Avifors! You will now see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Avifor's challenge. Mr. Potter, come forward, please. Yes, Professor? The Avifor spell book is located on the other side of this crawl space. Find it, and the spell will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Yes, Professor. Off you go.
toolbox.
superb job, Potter. Forty house points for Gryffindor. That is all for today. Class dismissed. Nice one, Harry. You did well there. Uh, and good luck with the Quidditch match. Quidditch match? Yeah, against Tufflepuff, remember? Come on, let's get to the stadium. You can't be late for the first game of the season. Harry, let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Hurry up, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Bird. Thanks for finding Trevor for me, Harry. I really appreciate it. Have a wizard card. Harry, let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. <laughs> Hurry up, Harry. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. Harry, let's go to the Quidditch Stadium.
Come on, Harry. Ah, you need to show ah, off ah, how the games play. Let's go into the stadium. Hello there and welcome to the first match of the season. Hufflepuff versus Gryffindor. I'm sure everyone's been looking forward to this match. I know that I have. Oh, that was a bone-breaking collision between the two players. The Hufflepuff Seekers way behind. That tackle was so hard, it nearly knocked both players off. Feel that tackle from up here. Oh. The Hufflepuff team got the shoulder to the knee. That was a really heavy tackle. Watch out, you don't fall off. They're making some excellent catches today. That was a bone. What a fantastic play by Spinet. Potter edging into the lead. After the way they played today. Well played, Harry. I suppose you're worn out after that. I am. I'm going to bed. Point totals are being calculated. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Gryffindor is in the lead. You're not going to believe this, Harry. Hermione wants you to meet her in the girls' bathroom on the second floor. She says she's got a plan to find out who the heir of Slytherin is. Really? Yes. Now hurry up. Girls' bathroom, second floor. Isn't that so... Thank you for getting them measuring scales, Harry. Much appreciated. Here's a wizard card. Flibbity-jibbit. How 
much as the Alhamur spell. The Alahamora spell allows you to unlock mechanical rocks. There are all sorts of places you'll be able to go. How much is it? Smart move, Harry. Now you can carry even more Wiganwell potion. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bigger bean bag. Now I can carry more beans. Hermione? This is a girl's bathroom. He's not a girl. No, sorry Myrtle. I just wanted to show him how uh, nice it is in here. I wish people would stop interrupting my peace and quiet. I do have feelings, you know, even if I am dead. So what's this plan of yours, Hermione? We need to find out who the heir of Slytherin is, so we can discover who wants all the students with non-magical parents out of Hogwarts. Well, it's not me, I hope. Do you think it could be Draco, though? Well, if it is, how do we prove it? One of us needs to get Malfoy to answer a few questions, without him realising it's us. That's what I was thinking, which is why I've been making a Polyjuice Potion. What's Polyjuice Potion? It transforms you into somebody else. One of us could change into a Slytherin, and Malfoy would probably tell us anything we wanted to know. I managed to sneak a bit of Goyle's hair during Transfiguration class and mix it into this. One sip, Harry, and you'll look just like Goyle. lurking about the dungeons this time of night.
Goyle. Did you know that Ow! 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 Drake host. Ow! 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 Daily Prophet hasn't reported what's going on here. I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush it all up. He'll be sacked if it doesn't stop soon. Father's always said old Dumbledore's the worst thing that ever happened to Hogwarts. He loves that non-magical lot. A decent headmaster would never have let that jumped up Granger mudblood in. And as for Saint Potter, the mudblood's friend, he's another one with no proper wizard feeling. And people think he's the Slytherin heir. I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. Oh, uh, you must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I haven't, Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's only a matter of time before one of them's killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Anyway, uh, Draco, I'd best be going. Going where? Uh, to the hospital wing. Yes, that's it, the hospital wing. I've got a stomachache. And I need to get something for it. Get going, Goyle, before your fat belly explodes. I'd better get out of here and fast. Him, Malfoy's not the heir of Slytherin. Uh, he must be. Who else could it be? I don't know, but it's got to be someone who was here at Hogwarts 50 years ago when the chamber was last opened. Well done, Harry. You did a great job. See you in the morning. Bye, Harry.
Bird. What was that? <laughs> Flibbity gibbet. The, the Archibald Alderton card. Ah, Archibald. The limited edition Bertie Bot card. Bertie Bot, an excellent purchase, Harry. His real genius was in the invention of the unreleased dog spit flavoured bean. Today. It's Charms with Flitwick. I'll meet you on the second floor. Giant bean bag. Now I can carry even more beans.
bird. I really appreciate you finding the wizard hat, Harry. Thanks, and here's a wizard card. Incendio this morning, Harry. Let's go in. Good morning, class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve us in learning how to cast the appositely named Bluebell Flames. The proper incantation for this charm is Incendio. You will now see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Incendio Challenge. Mr. Potter, if you wouldn't mind coming forward, please. The Incendio Spellbook is located on the other side of the crawl space. Once you've managed to collect it, the Incendio Charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Do you understand, Mr. Potter? I do, Professor. Very well then. Off you jolly well go.
send your spell book.
excellent potter, 40 house points to Gryffindor. That is all for today. Class dismissed. Hey, Harry, don't forget you've got the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Come on, let's go to the stadium. Harry, let's go to the Quidditch Stadium.
locked. Stadium. Stadium.
on, Harry. You need to show Ravenclaw how to play Quidditch. Welcome to the Quidditch Stadium. And welcome to what should be a really thrilling match. Ravenclaw versus Gryffindor. The two teams play with a similar style. But Gryffindor probably has a defensive edge. That was a great catch by Ravenclaw. was so hard, it nearly knocked both players off their brooms. A good move from the Gryffindor Seeker. A shot from Ravenclaw, and Ravenclaw scores. The Ravenclaw Seeker so far behind you may never catch up. The Ravenclaw Seeker's way behind. That tackle was so hard, it nearly knocked both players off their broom. Wow! That was a bone breaking collision between the two players. Harry Potter has broken the broom. Good catch by Kate Bell. Both teams are catching the clock one really well. Ravenclaws didn't know what hit them. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I'm worn out just from cheering. I'm going to bed.
The house point totals are being calculated. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Gryffindor is in the lead. Hey Harry, what do you think of this? It looks like an old diary. Belonged to T.M. Riddle. Hang on. I know that name. T.M. Riddle got an award for special services for the school 50 years ago. I know that because Filch made me polish his shield about 50 times in detention. Well, whoever he was, he didn't write in it. It's completely blank. I wonder why someone wanted to try and get rid of it then. Weird. Harry went to bed before anyone else in his dormitory that night, mainly because he wanted to examine Riddle's diary. He sat on his four-poster and flicked through the blank pages, until... Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Tom Riddle. I'm at Hogwarts and horrible stuff's been happening. Do you know about the Chamber of Secrets? Of course I know about the Chamber of Secrets. In my fifth year, the chamber was opened and the monster killed a girl. I caught the person who'd opened the chamber and he was expelled. I can show you if you like. I can take you inside my memory of the night when I caught him. Okay. Harry sat entranced by the memory Tom Riddle showed him. Evening, Hagrid. What are you doing down here, Tom? It's all over. I don't think you meant to kill anyone. But monsters don't make good pets now, do they? It never killed no one! Come on. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never! I... No! It was Hagrid, Rob! Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago! Go tell Hermione, I've got to go and see Hagrid! Thanks, Harry, for getting the dragon hide gloves. Have a wizard card. Flibbity gibbet. What was that?
There's someone, there's someone around here. Chairman of the school governance, I've simply got to act and send you away. Away? Away to where? No, not the wizard prison. Not Azkaban. I'm afraid so. A dreadful thing, Dumbledore. As of this moment, you are suspended as headmaster of Hogwarts. If the governors want my removal, Lucius, I shall, of course, step aside. No! However, you will find that I will only truly have left the school when none here are loyal to me. You will also find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Of course, if anyone were you to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'd lead them, right? That's the key to the whole thing. And that's all I'm saying. Come along now, Hagrid. We don't want to keep the Dementors waiting now, do we? All right, I'm coming.
Is it Hagrid? Not exactly, but I'm a friend of Hagrid's. Hagrid has never sent men into a hollow before. Hagrid's in trouble. That's why I've come. In trouble? They think up at the school that Hagrid's been setting a... a something on students. They've taken him to Azkaban. But that was years ago. Everyone thought that I was the monster that dwells in the Chamber of Secrets. They thought Hagrid had opened the chamber and set me free, which was why he was expelled from Hogwarts. So you didn't come from the Chamber of Secrets? No, I come from a distant land and Hagrid cared for me. The girl who was killed 50 years ago who was discovered in a bathroom and I have not seen any of the castle apart from the cupboard I grew up in. If it wasn't you who killed that girl, then what did kill her? We shall not speak of it. I'll just go then? Go? I think not. But, but... I cannot deny my children fresh meat.
Oh, I must have slept in. Oh no, the Quidditch match. I need to go to the Quidditch stadium. Famous witches and wizards cards. I'll give you card number 36, Jocelyn Wadcock, for number 84, Roland Kegg. Here you are. I collect famous witches and wizards cards. Do you? I'll give you a card number 61, Havelock Sweeting, for a number 77, Norval Twonk. Okay, let's swap. Do you want to swap famous witches and wizards cards? I'll give you a card number 81, Kwang Po, for a number 43, Cyprian Yaudel. Okay, let's swap. Shouldn't you be excited? Ow! Hurry up, Gryffindor is counting on you. I'd get to the Quidditch Stadium right away if I were you, Potter. Ow! against Slytherin today. I'm glad it's you that's doing it. After all that flying about and what we found out last night, I can't think straight. Me neither. We can't tell anyone about the diary and I don't want to be the one who brings up why Hagrid was expelled 50 years ago. And then there's... Kill this time. Let me rip. Tear. The voice. I just heard it again. Didn't you? Harry, I think I've just understood something. I've got to go to the library. What does she understand? Loads more than I do. But why she got to go to the library? Because that's what Hermione does. When in doubt, go to the library. Anyway, Harry, you'd better get moving. The match! Cards. I'll give you card number 94, Merton Graves, for number 31, Balfour Blaine. Here you are. Thank <laughs> you. 
I collect famous witches and wizards cards. Do you? I'll give you card number 75, Mungo Bunham, for number 13, Andros the Invincible. Here you are. Brilliant. Welcome to the final Quidditch game of the term here at Hogwarts. The bludgers are released, followed by the Golden Snitch. The Quaffle caught by Spinet. Malfoy so far behind, he may never catch up. That was a bone breaking collision between the two players. It's a bone-breaking collision between the two players. Now for goes for a boost. The clock has passed. He shoots. Oh, great big chance from Grindelwald. Brilliant catch by Adrian Pusey. Breaking collision between the two players. Draco Malfoy gives his groom a boost. A good boost from a Gryffindor Seeker. Potter goes for a boost. That tackle was so hard, it nearly knocked both players off their brooms. Potter will wind up in the infirmary if he gets quite like that again. Great flying by the Gryffindor Seeker. a really heavy tackle. And what a move. Potter's really moving now. Gryffindor wins the game! They'll be crying into their bottle beer in the slithering common room this evening. It is with great pleasure that I present the Quidditch Cup to Gryffindor. Harry, that was wicked! Oh, it's such a pity Hermione didn't get to see it. What? Hermione wasn't at the match? No, I haven't seen her since she ran off this morning. I don't know, she's probably got her head stuck in a book somewhere. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. The house point totals are being calculated. 
Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Gryffindor is in the lead. They can't find her anywhere! Oh no! But it gets worse. It's Hermione. She was attacked. She's been petrified. Huh? They found her just like nearly headless Nick, outside moaning myrtles. Steph is aboard! McGonagall told me that they were doing everything they could to find Ginny. So, I went to the infirmary to see Hermione. I found a piece of paper in her hand. A page torn from an old library book. That must have been what she was doing before she was attacked. What was the page about? It was all about basilisks. They're giant snakes that live for hundreds of years. Apparently, a basilisk can kill people by just staring at them. Anything else? Yeah, spiders don't like them. They run away when a basilisk is near. And there was something else. Hermione had written the word pipes on the page. Pipes? Pipes? That's all, just pipes. Wrong! This is it! This is the answer! The monster in the Chamber of Secrets is a basilisk! A giant snake! That's why I've been hearing the voice and nobody else has heard it. It's because I understand parcel tongue. Harry, do you think Ginny might be in the Chamber of Secrets along with that flipping big snake? McGonagall said they searched everywhere in the castle but no one knows where the chamber is. We've got to find her! OK, so what we need to know is how the basilisk's been getting round the place. A giant snake. Surely someone would have seen it. Pipes! Pipes, Ron! It's been using the plumbing. I've been hearing the voice inside the walls. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's a bathroom? What if it's in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom? OK, so what do we do? The place is crawling with prefects looking for Ginny. I'll go first. You join me in Moaning Myrtles on the second floor. Thanks very much for getting the Gadding with Ghouls book, Harry. Have a wizard card.
Oh, it's you, Harry Potter. What do you want this time? To ask how you died. Oh, it was dreadful. It happened right here. I did it because Olive Hornby was teasing me about my glasses. I was crying when I heard someone come in. It was a boy, and he began speaking a different language. I went to tell him to go to use his own bathroom, and then I died. But how? I just remember seeing these great, big eyes. Where exactly did you see the eyes? Over there, by the sinks. Harry, say something! Something in parcel tongue! But... Go on, Harry. Okay, then. Uh, open up. English? I'm going down there! She won't wake. She's still alive, but only just. Tom? Tom Riddle? You've got to help me, Tom. We've got to get her out of here. There's a basilisk and it could be along at any moment. The basilisk won't come until it's called. Let me tell you about the real reason Ginny's like this. She's been writing in the diary. My diary for months. I grew stronger and stronger on a diet of her deepest fears until I had enough power to start pouring a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Jeannie Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets. She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the Serpent of Slytherin on the mudbloods and nearly headless Nick. No! I'm afraid so. Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. You framed Hagrid! Yes. But you, Harry Potter, how is it that you managed to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? Why do you care? Haven't you realised yet? I am Lord Voldemort, the greatest sorcerer in the world! Sorry to disappoint you in all that, but the greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore's been driven out of Hogwarts by the mere memory of me. He's not as gone as you might think! To business, Harry. I'm going to teach you a little lesson. Let's match the powers of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter.
you. It was me, Harry. But I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me do it. It's all right. Riddle's finished. Come on, Ginny. Let's get out of here. now thanks i'm really disappointed with all that's happened professor mcgonagall has cancelled this year's exams i was really looking forward to doing all of that revision as you can see harry hermione's made a complete recovery anyway did you know that the house cup is about to be awarded the presentation's in the great hall yeah i hope we've got enough house points to beat slytherin I'd really love to see Malfoy's face if we managed to do it two years in a row. Well, when you're ready, Harry, we'll go in. You may believe, Potter, that everyone at Hogwarts is impressed with your so-called heroics in the chamber secrets. But not me. I am not impressed at all. Ow! It's Harry Potter, isn't it? Fancy a race? It'll cost five beans. Well done, Harry. Here's a wizard card. You won last time we raced. Think you can win again? It'll cost five beans.
You won this time, Potter. Here's a famous Witches and Wizards card. I'm confident I'll beat you this time, Harry. Let's have another race. It'll cost five beans. You won well, Potter. Have this wizard card. <laughs> Wattle bird. Thanks for finding holidays with Hanks, Harry. Here's a wizard card. Bird. Hey Harry, thanks for finding my tarantula. Have a wizard card for your trouble. Stop it! Ow! 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 Ow!
Fancy a race, Harry? It'll cost ten beans. You won this time, Potter. Here's a famous Witches and Wizards card. You won last time we raced. Think you can win again? It'll cost ten beans. Well done for winning, Harry. Have a wizard card. I'm confident I'll beat you this time, Harry. Let's have another race. It'll cost ten beans. For winning the race, you get a wizard card. Hello Harry, like to throw some gnomes and beat the record? It'll cost five beans. You 
beat the record. Have a wizard card, Harry. Why don't you have a go at beating the current gnome throwing record, Harry? It'll cost ten beans. You managed to beat the record, Harry, and win a wizard card. Hello, Harry. Like to throw some gnomes and beat the record? It'll cost 20 beans. Have a wizard card for beating the record.
Bet you can't beat the current gnome throwing record, Potter. Why don't you have a go? It'll cost 30 beans. <laughs> For breaking the known throwing record, you win a wizard card. Hi, what do you say to a race? It'll cost 20 beans. Well done for winning, Harry. Have a wizard card. Fancy another race, Harry, to see if you can beat me again. It'll cost 20 beans.
Well done, Harry. Here's a wizard card. Come on, Potter. Let's race again. I know I'll win this time. It'll cost 20 beans. For winning the race, you get a wizard card. Hi, what do you say to a race? It'll cost 30 beans. You won well, Potter. Have this wizard card. You won last time we raced. Think you can win again? It'll cost 30 beans.
You won this time, Potter. Here's a famous Witches and Wizards card. Bag. Now I can carry even more beans. You won last time we raced. Think you can win again? It'll cost 30 beans. Well done for winning, Harry. Have a wizard card. It'd be great to race you, Harry. What about it? It'll cost 50 beans. For winning the race, you get a wizard card.
You won last time we raced. Think you can win again? It'll cost 50 beans. Well done, Harry. Here's a wizard card. Come on, Potter. Let's race again. I know I'll win this time. It'll cost 50 beans. Well done for winning, Harry. Have a wizard card. Bag. Now I can carry even more beans. The ninth rang record's there to be beaten, Harry. Why don't you have a try? It'll cost 50 beans. Breaking the gnome throwing record, you win a wizard card.
nothing, 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 nothing. Please don't hurry. Please don't hurry. You now have 100 unique famous witches and wizards cards in your folio magi. Please, take this card to complete your collection. Wow, thanks Professor Dumbledore. Run along then, Harry.
did for me. That was so amazing. <coughs> we come to the end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts. And so, for their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school, it is with great pleasure that I present the House Cup to Gryffindor. Jenny! Harry told them everything. For nearly a quarter of an hour, he spoke into the rapt silence. He told them about hearing the disembodied voice. How Hermione had finally realized that he was hearing a basilisk in the pipes. How he and Ron, following a hint from Hagrid, had followed the spiders into the forest. That Aragog had told them where the last victim of the basilisk, 50 years before, had died. How he had guessed that Moaning Myrtle had been the victim, and that the entrance to the basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. But how did you all get out of there alive? Well... It all had to do with loyalty and friendship. And courage. <laughs> Harry, you can't forget that. Yes, and courage too. Professor Dumbledore explained that 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as the 16-year-old Tom Riddle, had enchanted his diary, and that diary had enchanted Ginny. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. And, as for Harry, well, once again, he truly was the boy who lived. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now that you're here, you can choose which of the four house teams you'd like to take through to the Quidditch Cup. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff or Slytherin. Once you've chosen your team, you can guide them through a series of house challenges and if you're successful in these challenges, then your team should have enough skills to compete in the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. Who knows, you might even win it. Over to you, Wood. Right. Now, Quidditch is easy enough to understand. There are seven players on each side. Three of them are called chasers. This ball's called the Quaffle. The chasers throw the quaffle to each other and try to get it through one of the hoops to score a goal. Ten points every time the quaffle goes through one of the hoops. Now, there's another player on each side who's called the keeper. I'm keeper for Gryffindor. I have to fly around our hoops and stop the other team from scoring. Stand back. The bludgers rock around trying to knock players off their brooms. That's why you have two beaters on each team. It's their job to protect their side from the bludgers and try to knock them towards the other team.
To sum up so far, three chasers try and score with the quaffle. The keeper guards the goalposts. The beaters keep the bludgers away from their team. Now the last member of the team is the seeker, who doesn't have to worry about the quaffle or the bludgers. This is the golden snitch, and it's the most important ball of the lot. It's very hard to catch because it's so fast and difficult to see. It's the seeker's job to weave in and out of the chasers, beaters, bludgers and quaffle to catch the snitch before the other team's seeker. Because whichever seeker catches the snitch wins his team an extra 150 points, so they nearly always win. A game of Quidditch only ends when the snitch is caught. Any questions? No? Good. Thanks, Oliver. Oh, and one other thing before you choose your house team. If the team you select does manage to win the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup, you'll be awarded a ticket to this year's Quidditch World Cup. If you win the ticket, you'll be able to choose an international team to support right through the tournament, hopefully to the World Cup final. OK, so if you'd like to choose your house team, we can start to play Quidditch. I'm Angelina Johnson, and I'm a Gryffindor chaser. My house challenge is all about passing the quaffle. This challenge is all about passing the quaffle. Your three chasers will be flying in a V-shaped formation and between each chaser you'll see a magical ring. These rings will cycle between yellow and green. The chasers must pass the quaffle back and forth through the rings while they are green. Missing a ring or passing the quaffle through a yellow ring will cause that ring to turn red and a time penalty will be incurred. Hi there, Harry here. Pass the quaffle, press the action button. Use the broomstick control to direct your path. A new Quidditch card! Brilliant! We've won our first Quidditch card. The more cards we win, the more our team will be able to do. These cards will open up all sorts of other things too. You can take a look at your Quidditch cards anytime you like, as long as you're not actually playing. Press this button and select the View Cards option. Use the directional buttons to cycle through the cards we've collected. You'll also find hints on how to win more cards. My name's Katie Bell, and I play Chaser for Gryffindor. My house challenge involves learning to tackle and to shoot at the goals. This is a one-on-one -on -one challenge between one of your chasers and a ghost. Edgar Cloggs is the ghost in question, and he's been hanging around the Quidditch pitch for as long as anyone can remember. Edgar was obviously a pretty good Quidditch player in his day, and he's going to be flying around the pitch with the quaffle, trying to avoid your chaser. 
The aim of the challenge is to tackle Edgar, take the quaffle from him and throw it into one of the gold hoops. Edgar will, of course, not only try to prevent your chaser from gaining the quaffle, but will also try to prevent them from scoring. Hi there, Harry here. Just a quick reminder, press the action button to tackle and the shoot button when you're in range of the gold hoops. Good luck! Brilliant! We've won some new Quidditch cards. My name's Harry Potter, and I'm the Gryffindor Seeker. I'll show you how to catch the snitch. A golden snidget has escaped from a snidget reservation. And because I'm a seeker, I've been asked to catch it. This is a good opportunity to learn about slipstreaming and boosting when playing in a real match. And Madam Hooch is going to help us out. You'll see that Potter must follow in the slipstream of my broom as we pursue the golden snidget. This is so that he can accumulate enough power to boost himself into position and therefore catch the snidget. Once Potter has enough boost, I will peel off and leave grabbing the snidget to him. Use the action button to give yourself a speed boost. And when you're close enough, grab that snidget! Great! Some new Quidditch cards! Brilliant effort! You've been successful in your first three house challenges and you're now ready to play a real British match. Ready for a match against Ravenclaw, are you? We'll see just how ready you really are. Let's play for the Quidditch Cup! Stadium here at Hogwarts. My most excellent friend and amateur Quidditch expert, James Finnegan, join me for today's game between Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. Seriously, today's match should be a real corker. Madam Hood will referee today's match. We're off. Unloads! What a score! Gryffindor lead by ten! The shot! She makes it! Bang on target! Gets the loose ball! She 
so strong at the tackle. Oh, 
Williams picks it up. Takes the shot. Fantastic!
Gryffindor's at the top. I'm Fred Weasley. My brother George and I are the team's beaters. This house challenge is about beaters and bludgers. In this challenge, you'll be learning how to defend against bludgers. One of your chasers, flanked by two beaters, that is, George and me, will be searching for targets placed throughout the grounds. What the beaters have to do is whack a bludger at each of the targets. Sounds simple enough, except that once the bludger has hit a target, it will rebound and pursue the chaser relentlessly until the beaters can be battered away. Use the broomstick control to explore the area. Press and hold the bludger button and guide the bludger towards the target. We've won a new Quidditch card! Hello, I'm Alicia Spinett. I'm a chaser for Gryffindor. I'll teach you about dodging and special move tackles. This is a one-on-one -on -one challenge between one of your chasers and our old ghostly friend, Edgar Cloggs. Edgar's going to try and take the coffee from your chaser and prevent them from scoring a goal. Edgar's in a particularly troublesome mood and your chaser needs to employ the dodge to avoid him. Edgar's an expert at the special move tackle and this means it's going to be very difficult for your chaser to keep the quaffle for longer than a couple of seconds. <laughs> Harry here with a reminder. Press and hold the special move button and steer the target over Edgar. Release the button to tackle. Use the dodge button to avoid him. And the shoot button once you're in range of the goal. A new Quidditch card!
So you'd like a match with Hufflepuff, would you? Let's play for the Quidditch Cup and may the best team win.
Johnson grabs it. She shows great strength in the tackle. She takes the shot. Brace. Spinet makes the tackle. Let it fly. Fantastic. Appleby. Never in doubt! Hufflepuff are letting them back into this one! Brace! Spinet takes the quaffle! She unloads! She makes the save! Fleet has got such a safe pair of hands! Shoots! She makes it! Appleby! Johnson! So what do you win? McAvoy! Spin it! Shoots! Send it home! Hufflepuff seems to be losing the plush! Appleby! Johnson pulls the trigger! She's legitimate! Johnson steals it! She's got such great desire! She fires it! The keeper makes it look easy! Try to shut! She makes it! Puff and pop! They're really letting it slip! Heidi McAvoy!
Gryffindor's at the top. I think we've met. I'm Oliver Wood, Gryffindor team captain and keeper. You want to know about passing and scoring? I'm your man. This challenge is all about using combination moves, combos. Controlling your chasers, you need to direct one or more combo passes into the scoring area. You'll then need to pull off a volley shot to score a goal. I'll be there trying to stop you. If you fail to perform a volley shot or I save your attempt, there'll be a time penalty. This is a hard challenge, but if you're fast and successful three times, you might just get that school record for Gryffindor. Harry here. Use the action button together with one or both of the combo buttons to perform a combo pass. Use the broomstick control to direct them. Once in range, use the shoot button together with the combo buttons to launch a special shot. Wow! We've won a new Quidditch card! Slytherin? Not in this lifetime. Let's play for the Quidditch Cup! Welcome, this is Lee Jordan speaking to you from a lively stadium here at Hogwarts. My doormate and so-called Quidditch expert, Seamus Finnegan, Join me for today's game between Gryffindor and Slytherin. Seriously, today's match should be a real corker. Off they go. Flips it.
counterattack. Intercepts the crumble. Johnson gets the loose ball. Shoots it. She takes it. Unloads. She puts it in. Gryffindor are working on extending that lead.
Hunter is about to take the snitch. He's glassy gaseous. Maverick with the physical play. Amazing speed. It's getting physical. That really puts the pressure on. He's done it! Whoa! It is with great pleasure that I award this year's Quidditch Cup to Gryffindor. And to those of you who will be attending this year's Quidditch yeah, World yeah. Cup, have a wonderful time. And don't forget to take your Omnioculars. Excellent! You've made the right choice! Chosen the Nordic team and I congratulate you. Passes. 
Igor Brandt. Throws it. Peter Hansen.
have a better attack! Pops it! It's just sloppy! Blip! Anderson has it! He's so strong in the top. Gustafsson! Hansen! What a score! Yeah! George! With the pass! Anderson! Takes the shot! He throws it! He puts it through! Oh yeah! Passes! George! Handsome! Steals the bottle! He passes it off! Anderson! Gustafsson! Let's it fly!
is Ludo Bergman, speaking to you from the English National Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and England. For today's game, my co-commentator will be Jacqueline Lejeune. The English National Stadium, it is très magnifique! Olaf Anderson, Peter Hansen. He takes the shot. He sends it home. Both teams have so much to do. Olaf Anderson. Gustafsson puts it in. Passes. Hansen.
Cross.
Last one. Anderson grabs it. He's very strong with the tackling. Bullet pass. Gustafsson. Shoot, shoot. The keeper did really well there. Foster. Anderson takes the quaffle. Pass it off.
Anderson grabs it, flips it. Olaf Anderson takes the shot. Avery Hawksworth he steals the bottle. Shoots. The keeper makes it look easy. Keaton Flipney. Anderson steals the bottle. Let's it fly. Drops it. Speaking to you from the Nordic team's Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and the USA. Over to you, Jacqueline. There is much I see in the Nordic team's National Stadium. I love everything about the ice. Come off we go. Olaf Anderson. Norm Gustafsson. One of the most well-rounded sides we've ever seen from the United States. No sense! Anderson makes it! <laughs> Robert Green! <laughs> Norm Gustafsson! Oh, she puts it in!
shot. Oh, 
Hansen. Passes. Peter Hansen. Lo Gustafsson. Shoots it. She puts it away. Australian National Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and Australia. For today's game, my co-commentator will be Mila Gavabi. Today's game comes from Oz. I don't know about you, but I think it's a fantastic stadium, a fantastic crowd, and it's sure to be a fantastic match. Off they go.
Shunga. Peter Hansen.
He's so strong in the tackle. Now the keeper grabs it. Made that look easy.
Monteith! Gustafsson goes in! She's got such great design! Gustafsson sends it home! Shoulder! With the pass! Takes the shot! Yeah. Anderson picks it up! Pass it off! Anderson. With the shot! He puts it in! Matthew Isunga! Gustafsson steals the bottle. Shoots! She puts it away! <laughs> Kenneth Hastings! Anderson makes the tackle! No, Gustafsson! Peter Hansen! He makes the shot! Matthew Isunga! Anderson makes a great tackle! They need to keep hold of the bottle. He grabs the quaffle! Passes it off! We need to keep hold of the quaffle! Ludo Batman speaking to you from the Japanese National Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and Japan. Over to you, Arnold. Danke, Ludo. I too am very excited, especially to be co-commentating with a Quidditch legend such as you. Into 
interception. Yeah! Quick pass. Just 
Scoring a goal is to pass the cover effectively and accurately. Even Motor with a nice save. Hansa makes the tackle. He tackles with great strength. He takes the bottle. Interception. He gets the loose ball. He shoots. Makes it.
with the other hand. She has forged ahead. Amazing foresight! Speaking to you from the Nordic team's Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and Spain. For today's game, my co-commentator will be Jacqueline Lejeune. There is much ice here in the Nordic team's National Stadium. I love everything about the ice. We're off! Olaf Anderson.
mask. Pass it up. Throws it. Das 
here. Anderson steals the bottle. With a quick pass. Drops it. Gustafsson has it. Bullet pass. Peter Hansen. Olaf Anderson. Shoots it. Hey, 
just get such great desire. Marat. Anderson goes in. Passes it off.
pass. Lord Gustafsson! Yes. Josephine Morat! Matilda Mallard! Flips it! Lord Gustafsson! Speaking to you from the American National Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and the USA. For today's game, my co-commentator will be Mila Gurabi. Today's match is in the US. Our referee today is Cyprian Lacey. Gustafsson! 
Gustafsson has it. She shows great strength in the tackle. Green.
Speaking to you from the German National Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and Germany. Over to you, Arnold. Today's match comes to you from the charming and perfect surroundings of the German National Stadium. And today's referee will be Cyprian Lacey. Well-rounded 
sides with Evesy? I don't agree. Well, I thought that I was... Your comments must have a certain degree of logic, Ludo. They need to keep hold of the bottle. Asher steals the bottle. He possesses a strong desire to get the trouble. Passes. 
Backman, speaking to you from the Nordic team's Critics Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and Australia. For today's game, my co-commentator will be Jacqueline Rejean. There is much ice here in the Nordic team's National Stadium. I love everything about the ice. The match begins. Olaf Anderson. Norm Gustafsson. She scores! This is like she has the flames, Berlin! Matthew Ishunga. Anderson has it. Norm Gustafsson. Peter Hansen. He's set to go. Hansen! 
shoulder. Anderson makes a great tackle. He's so extraordinary with the knees. Hastings. With a quick pass.
Klaus here. Ah! She steals it. Anderson 
shoots! He's there. It is Ryder that Spain raised their game. Garcia! Gustafsson goes in! She is obviously very strong. Anderson sends it home! One would be hard pressed to discover a more expert player than him. Garcia! With the pass! Cartaya! Bullet pass! Hansen! Passes! Anderson! With the shots! He sends it home! With a quick pass. Guys here. With the pass. No Gustafsson. Olaf Anderson. He scores. LeBron. Passes. Guys here. Anderson has it. Montoya sends another gadget. Drops it. LeBron. Hansen picks it up. Olaf Anderson! Lord Gustafsson! Unloads! Makes the shot! LeBron! Cartaya! Anderson! Grabs the bottle! Peter Hansen! They need to keep hold of the bottle! He makes a great tackle! Passes it off! Lord Gustafsson! The Nordic team take yeah. home the sports. I would predict the Nordic team will be having many joyful celebrations tonight. Speaking to you from the Nordic team's Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and England. For today's game, my co-commentator will be Arnold Vogler. Today's match comes to you from the snow flight ice flows of the Nordic team stadium. He takes the shot. It's him. Yeah. 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 Both 
of these teams are incredibly skilled. Anderson makes the tackle, passes, interception, Anderson gets the loose ball, he possesses a strong desire to get the bubble. England should really begin to use their Quidditch intellect. Let's <laughs> go. 
Crossbar! Pass it off! Anderson! The keeper makes it look easy! Flick there! Flips it! Anderson! Unloads! did really well there. With a quick pass, Gustafsson puts it away! There are not many players to match her. Passes, with the shots, and it. That was a textbook example of goal defending. Flips it, drops it.
the Nordic team and Bulgaria. For today's game, my co-commentator will be Jacqueline Lejeune. There is much ice here in the Nordic team's national stadium. I love everything about the ice.
Dimitron! Heavily fast! Even over! With a quick pass! Anderson! Gustafsson! Flips it! Hansen! Tries the shots! Dimitron! Bullet pass! Hansen! Gustafsson! Unloads! No doubt about that one! Great 
this is Ludo Bagman speaking to you from the French National Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and France. How do you, Jacqueline? Ah, such beauty it is in the French National Stadium! The colors, the perfume! One team is better than the other. Peter Hansen throws it. Olaf Anderson. He scores! Son? Flip six. 
with the shot. She puts it through. Yeah. 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 with the pass. Shoots it straight in. The defense of France is not good. Takes the shot! He puts it in! Passes! Mallard! Slips it! Morat! Lafarge! Anderson picks it up! Lord Gustafsson! Peter Hansen! Passes it off! They need to get better possession! Matilda Mallard! With a quick pass! Lord Gustafsson! Olaf Anderson! Josephine Morat! Bullet pass! Hildegarde Lafarge! Passes it off! Peter Hansen! Olaf Anderson! Matilda Mallard! Hansen! Goes in! Speaking to you from the Nordic team's Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and Japan. Over to you, Millie. We're at the Nordic team's 
stadium for today's game, and it's cold enough to freeze a dragon's nose. Off we go! Lord Gustafsson! Peter Hansen! Very strong Peter Perry. I certainly wouldn't want to be on the end of a bludger hit by either of those two. Yoshihiro Suzuki. With a quick pass. Olaf Anderson. He shoots. New Moto makes a great save. Pure brilliance. Ryotaro Tanaka. Flips it. Scores! The Nordic team are ahead by 20. Sato. Launches another bludger attack. Pulls off. Set off. Noriyuki Sato. Yoshihiro Suzuki. With the pass. Nor Gustafsson.
it up with the pass. They need to get better possession. He steals it. Passes. Lord Gustafsson. They need to keep hold of the bottle. Bullet pass. Drops it. Flips it. Riot on Tanaka. Passes. Olaf Anderson. Lord Gustafsson. Peter Hansen. The keeper makes it look easy. He makes a great tackle. They need to get better possession. With the pass. They need to keep hold of the bottle. Gustafsson takes it back. Bullet pass. Peter Hansen. Olaf Anderson. Ryotaro Tanaka. Passes it off. They need to keep hold of the bottle. Hansen takes the quaffle. Olaf Anderson. They need to get better possession. He grabs the quaffle. Shoots it. He puts it in. Ryotaro Tanaka. He steals the quaffle. Passes. Peter Hansen. Olaf Anderson. He puts it through. <laughs> Lolly Yuki Sato. Hansen makes the tackle. Shoots! Yes! Ryotaro Tanaka! Anderson grabs it! With the pass! Lord Gustafsson! Speaking to you from the Bulgarian National Quidditch Stadium for today's match between the Nordic team and Bulgaria. For today's game, my co-commentator will be Arnold Vogler. Today's match comes to you from the Gothic Splendor of Bulgaria's National Stadium. Away they go! Throws it! Norm Gustafsson! Makes the save! It's a guard! It's incomparable! Yeah. What a quick pass! She picks it up! Peter Hansen! Norm Gustafsson! Olaf Anderson! Great shot! Vaseline Dimitrov. Gustafsson grabs it. Peter Hansen. Ingraf with a nice save. Vaseline Dimitrov with the pass. Hansen. Ingraf grabs it. 
Peter. Bullet pass. Peter Hansen. No Gustafsson. Drops it. Anderson steals it. Hopefully to keep hold of the ball. With the pass. Climb and over. Trips it. Peter Hansen. Let's it fly. No doubt about that one. Bang on target.